channel. Now on this YouTube channel, I've talked about several things. I've talked about how you can make better vlogs, how you can make more interesting vlogs, how you make transitions in vlogs. But one thing I've never talked the behind the scenes of how I make my videos. I've talked about other YouTube creators videos, how you make their videos, but I've never talked about a behind the scenes look of the vlog. Now, I've talked about a lot of different things on this channel. Like I've said before, I've talked about how you make vlogs more interesting, how you can engage people in your videos. If you're going to start YouTube, this is what you should do. I'm gonna talk about how I make my videos because I've never really talked about it to what really goes into these videos so you guys know what I have to do almost every single time before I post a video, before you guys even see it. Now, the whole process obviously starts with an idea. A random idea and I'm like, okay, that'd be cool to film. Or I think of a cool vlog and I'm like, okay, whatever the topic is gonna be about for today, we're just going to do it. But sometimes I have premeditated ideas and the best way to do that is to get some sort of notebook to get, even if you're typing it on your phone, and to write down your ideas because you don't want it to be unrelated to your channel. Like I have a podcast channel, I couldn't do a podcast on this channel. It just wouldn't relate with you guys. If you guys want to go watch that podcast, it would be great. but. It's not part of your channel brand. That's what's important here on YouTube. Can we talk about how good I've changed, I've changed the lighting? Look at that. I have all my jackets and stuff because I like keeping them and um, I just have the light that's normally above there and I have this little light on that I just showed you and I think the lighting is pretty appropriate. Okay, so. I want to talk about more about what I do to make my videos. Obviously, I record them, I edit them, and then I post them. But there's so many other things that go into it. The music in my videos that you guys have heard. Where do I get it from? Alright, so I get all of my music uh, mainly off of YouTube. I look at royalty-free music. I'm sorry, YouTube, but your royalty-free music, music that you download from, from YouTube that you don't get from a YouTube channel, is shit. Okay, if you're a new YouTuber, do not use the royalty-free YouTube music. It's good in some instances, and I have used it in videos when I first started, because I didn't know how to necessarily... I didn't know other good music to use in my videos. It's good to start out with, but I wouldn't keep it with your YouTube channel. Having the right music, um, having a camera that you're comfortable being in front of, there's so many things that go into filming, and I have filmed so many different types of videos, so I know this is a very general thing that I'm talking about, because I filmed commentary videos, I've filmed vlogs, um, but today we're just going to stay on the, just the general idea of what goes into me filming. Okay, so my editing process is anywhere from one to two hours, depending on the video, depending on how long it is, depending on how... I, I want to be depending on if I already downloaded music for it. It just really depends I like to take a long time to edit not because it takes me a long time to edit just because I'm a little bit of a, a perfectionist when it comes to Being dead on I've made some mistakes with my YouTube videos. I have like every other youtuber I have, and I'll be able to admit that I've messed up syncing audio before all right, guys, welcome back for a for videos that could have did better and didn't do better. I've left in music parts where music didn't need to be belong in. <laughs> it's really starting to feel like well, I've fucked up on some of my YouTube videos, but that is all a learning curve with being a YouTuber. You're going to mess up your audio sometimes. You're going to put music where it doesn't belong. You're going to maybe you know, film crappy shots for your whole new vlog. Hey, uh, da, 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 da. Your video might not come out the way you want it to be, but you know what? That's just part of being a YouTuber. You just gotta accept sometimes you're gonna fuck up. You're gonna fuck up, you're gonna mess up, and it's just, it's not gonna be good. But all comes down to, did you have fun making that content? Did you do something that was enjoyable? I feel like the best content on YouTube that you can make is 
make whatever gets you excited. People want to see you excited. People can tell when I'm depressed in a video, sad in a video, maybe not as energetic in a video. You have to make something you love. If that's vlogging about your freaking cat, if that's, you know, talking about your favorite mod, you know, like, people ask me all the time, why did you stop doing vapor videos? It got repetitive. I wasn't enjoying it as much. Do I love vaping? Yes, I do it every single fucking day. I don't know why it looked like I was doing something sexual to my mod, but I do it every single day. Of course I love it. I love talking about it, but talking about it too much can be a bad thing. And then I just don't enjoy it, so that's why I stopped making those videos as much. <laughs>